So today I'm talking about a Honda with the VSA light that won't go off and what you can do if you have this problem, how you can go about troubleshooting and fixing it. And I'm going to put links down below for everything I'm looking at here. So what is the Honda VSA light? Well, it stands for Vehicle Stability Assist and it, it's there to help the driver control the vehicle better in like rain or, you know, less than ideal conditions. Anytime the road conditions aren't that great, it's supposed to help you get better control over the vehicle. And can you turn the VSA light off? On some Hondas, you can. Uh, it'll depend on the Honda. Some some have a button, so look around like on the dashboard, like to the left of the steering wheel. See if you do have a button, you might not, but some do. It depends on the year. You could either look around or you can also Google it and see if that if you do have a button. If not, then it'll, it's just set to go off automatically. So how would you go about resetting and clearing the VSA light? Well, first of all, you're going to need a scan tool that can read ABS, which is anti-lock brake system. And uh, not all scan tools can do that. Many can, but you have to make sure that you have that feature. Uh, if, you, if you don't have an OBD2 scan tool, then many auto parts stores like AutoZone or O'Reilly's, they'll do a scan for free and can pull up any codes that might be on there. Or if you need one, I'll put links down below for one that I use called the Foxwell NT630 Plus. And it has ABS built in so that you can read these codes. But if you get any scan tool, just be sure it has ABS feature built in so that you'll be able to read the VSA error codes. And that way you can be pointed into the right direction of what could be the problem. And also the scan tools will have a clear error, but the error might come back if the problem's not fixed. So just because you could clear the error doesn't mean the, pro the, the light won't come back. And so what are some of the most common causes of fixes for the VSA light that won't go off? Well, first of all, the steering angle switch. There's a, there's a steering angle switch that's built into the steering wheel that gives information on, the, on where the steering wheel's at. And when these go bad, they can cause this problem, but, they, but many also have a, a reset procedure. Now this is also gonna depend on your, the year of your Honda. So you'll have to Google it if it does. Some do, some don't. You have this procedure like where you center the wheels and then you turn the steering wheel all the way to the left and then you turn the steering wheel all the way back to the right and then you turn the steering wheel back to, to straight center. That's a very common reset procedure. But again, you'll have to Google and see what it is for, for your exact one since there is different steering angle switch types. I'll go ahead and show you. Uh, so here you, you can take a look. You can see there's different ones. They'll call it a clock spring or a steering angle sensor or switch. And it'll, it'll just depend on, on the year of your Honda as to what they look like and how they work. And of course these can go bad and need to be replaced. So the number one problem with this would be the steering angle switch. And next up would be, would be a wheel speed sensor or the wiring. Every tire has a speed sensor and they give information on how fast the vehicle's moving on. And they give information on, on how fast the, the tires are moving. And the way the onboard computer works is it, one tire might slip a little bit and not be moving as fast. Well, the onboard computer can detect this and can help control the stability of the vehicle a little better. Well, if one of these sensors goes bad, it's not gonna be getting that information and it can just cause that VSA light to come on. Uh, the wiring will cause the same problem as a bad speed sensor since there's, the connection's not there going back to the computer. So that's something to keep in mind is that the wiring, like a plug can become unplugged or a wire became open or shorted and it's causing the issue. Commonly though, if you have a wheels, a bad speed sensor, you'll get another error code like a C0040, something along those lines. And it'll point to a bad speed sensor and you'll know that's the problem because the scan tool will pull that up. You know, the, the scan tool will say like front right tire speed sensor error or, or rear left tire speed sensor error, something along those lines. So if it is a speed sensor, quite commonly, it'll give you another error code on top of the error code for the VSA light. And if it does that, then you'll know exactly what the problem is and what to do to go fix it. And so that's basically it. And just a real quick overview of what you could do if you have a Honda with the VSA light and it won't go off. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.